So a few weeks ago, I showed a quick video of Jelly, and what I did was, is I showed that after she'd been in season, her mammary glands, and when I squeezed them, some clear fluid came out, and that's actually known as a positive milk test, so it was showing that she was having the start of a phantom pregnancy. Now, this is Jelly a couple of weeks on. You can see this time, her boobies are very well developed, so she looks a little bit more like they're a bit fuller. Last time they were quite flat, and now when I squeeze, out comes oh, milk. Okay, so she's definitely in the midst now of having a full-blown phantom pregnancy. Behaviorally, she's been absolutely great. Um, I am going to be spaying Jelly, but clearly not when she's having a phantom pregnancy. Now, here's one little thing for you to think about. Jelly finished her last day of bleeding on January the 27th. If we move forward three months, we'll be looking at April 27th. That's tomorrow and you can see she's right in the midst of having a phantom pregnancy if we spay a bitch while she's having a phantom pregnancy she remains in that physical and psychological and hormonal state for the rest of her life it's super important that you make sure all symptoms and all signs of phantom pregnancy are resolved before you even consider having your bitch spayed hey good girl